This is an awesome drill to help you understand where the racket needs to be when you're learning how to hit a topspin serve, how to have the proper swing path. So we're gonna start choked up. We're gonna start in a half serve position. Now, not the half serve position where the racket is back like this. The half serve position with the racket and the hand on this side of the body. Now, notice where the strings are. They're facing down towards the ground. They're not open like this. I see a lot of players doing this, especially if they have a forehand grip. But even with a continental grip, I see people starting with the wrist caught. So we wanna relax the wrist. We want the strings down on the ground. And now we're going to tap the head. So this is going to remind you to keep the racket face closed so that you can hit topspin on the serve. Strings down like this, tapping the head, racket face closed, okay? So again, great drill to practice the dirty diaper, to practice topspin, to get the proper swing path, and starting by tapping the head and then hitting, okay? Tap the head, keep it closed, and then hit your dirty diaper. Now, from there, you can stand up and practice that. The whole idea behind tapping the head is just making sure that the racket face is closed at the beginning of the swing. I've got a powerful serve drill that I wanna share with you, and it's one that I don't hear a lot of coaches or players talk about, but it's one that I use in a lot of my lessons because as a, as a coach that's obsessed with helping players with technique, I need to make sure the technique can change without having to worry about the ball going in. And so too often I think players are focusing on changing their technique and trying to make their serves. So what I want players to do when they're working on their technique is to take the pressure off and to serve into the fence. That's the drill, it's that simple. So anytime you're working on you know, your first move, your shoulder turn, your racket drop, your rhythm, your leg drive, anything, you can just practice serving into the fence. Okay, now, a couple things that I wanna point out. Make sure that you don't practice too close to the fence because you could hit a pole and it could ricochet back at you and knock you out, okay? So I always like to be a good distance away from the fence. I can use a back fence, I can use a side fence, and I'm pretty close to the baseline uh, when I'm practicing this. Again, I want good space. Now at this point, Whatever technique I'm working on with a player, or if you're, in this case, you're alone, you're just going to focus on that technique instead of worrying about what happens with the ball. So you're just going to hit the serve and you're gonna work on whatever it is that you're focusing on. So with one player, for example, <clears throat> he had a poor shoulder turn. So he would move into this position to serve, okay? <clears throat> So what I worked with him on is his shoulder turn. So every time he hit a serve in the fence, I needed to make sure he elbowed the enemy and he got the elbow out of the way. Now when he did that, sometimes the elbow would come back after. So he would have a nice turn and then he would come back before. So I need to make sure that the elbow stays back in this position here and doesn't creep forward. And he was able to get better success serving into a fence than over the net. Now, once you feel like you're getting the technique ingrained, then you can come up to the line and practice hitting regular serves. So you can have this dance back and forth, serve some into the fence. When you feel you're getting it, come back to the baseline and hit some serves over the net and go back and forth until you get it. So again, one of the most powerful drills is to serve into the fence. So I want you to incorporate that into your program. So if you got a lot of value out of this lesson, make sure you smash the like button. I hope you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, make sure you subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you can be updated on future lessons. And hey, thanks for your time today. Before you go, click the link below or somewhere in this video. We're going to give you a free serve training. We're actually gonna share with you three amateur serve mistakes you could be making. I want you to avoid these mistakes. We're gonna give you the solutions. We're gonna help you take your game to the next level. So go ahead and click in the description below. There's a link there somewhere in this video. We'll see you at the next one.